Alright, so what is it that the Virgos need to know for this month of August? Thank you for joining me, you guys. Please do me a solid. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Now let's get into it. Empress? <laughs> Up front, okay. What else? Seven of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. It's getting back something that you wanted to be abundant. Or something that you've been working toward. What else is going on here? Oh, this might be a love situation. Healing of Heartbreak. Three of Swords Reverse. With the Hierophant. So it could be a Taurus. But it's just someone that you thought things could be very serious with. Then we got the Strength card. So defining a purpose or a reason. Ten of Wands, relieving one's burdens or stresses about the situation. We got the Moon card. Two of Swords reversed. The fool. So it's time to kind of move out of being cautious and take an opportunity no matter how intense it is, you know? Shoot your shot. Go for it. What else do the Virgos need to know? Queen of Cups. Follow your intuition in regards to what you do with your heart. We got eight of wands. Expect quick change if you do so. And then we got the queen of cups. Nope, not queen. This is a young girl. That's a knave. It's a knave of cups. So that would be chatter about quick movement. Or what it is that your intuition is feeling. That's so funny. Then we got a knight of wands. Area. I want say it's justice. But yeah. Figuring out a balanced way to move forward in terms of what it is that you want to chase, create, manifest. That's very clean energy, it's interesting. What else do we need to know for the Virgos out here? Seven of Wands. Two of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, that could be promotions. That's moving upward. Um, getting a new offer to be more stable. And also a little bit more money. We got three of Cups. Two of Pentacles. And number 18, which is the moon. Very, very intense here. It's like the reflection that she sees, ooh, makes her feel the type of ways. But other than that, um, the way I interpret that is you might get a little emotional in terms of, you know, how everything plays out. Especially if everything kind of plays in the favor. That puts you on good, stable footing. There is a sense of taking the high road, definitely. The four pinnacles. The changes you make now can be lasting, but they start off the small things, you know? That's judgment. No, just, no, yeah, judgment. Because justice is right here. And then we got two of cups. Oh, okay. I like that. It's firm emotional ground to stand on based on like baby steps. I like it. Very interesting too, because this deck in particular, y'all, I don't know if you noticed when I paused. I noticed this deck has two fools in it. I'm like, does it have two moon cards too? Because I could have swore I saw another moon card. But neither here nor there. This deck in particular, these triple goddesses, they like to mess with me, so it is what it is. Um, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> a 
let me know um, what you think of this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.